What's going on guys? I'm going to show you this little black crab fly that I've been throwing on the flats lately. Uh, it's been pretty killer. Pretty simple, just dark, dark crab pattern. We'll go to wintertime fly. Start out with a size one Gimagatsu SC15 hook. I'm just going to be using some black thread. It really doesn't matter what size black thread you use, what size thread in general, just whatever you're comfortable using. Build up that thread base. You start with a little flash, throw a little flash in there. <clears throat> I'm using this kind of salt and pepper barred crystal flash. I'll throw that right off the back side. Next we're going to take this Palmer chenille purple and uh, just make a few wraps right around where you just built that thread base up over that over that flash other that salt and pepper flash you just put in there. Wrap and make sure you're pulling all those, all those fibers back towards the end of the hook. Go around about five, six times. Again, not crazy important. Just make sure you're getting some good flash in there. Next, I'm going to throw an eye on there at the front. And I'm just using an extra small black lead eye. I'm trying to keep this thing relatively light. You don't want it too heavy because it's a smaller profile fly for us. But in the winter, we have a lot less grass out there. So we kind of like that fly to be right there on the bottom kicking up a little dust, kicking up a little sand as it crawls along there, it really gets their attention. Alrighty, wrap that all back, get it all nice and cleaned up. Alrighty. From here we're going to make our claws. I'm just using some micro rabbit strip, some zonker strips in uh, purple. We want those just kind of out to the side so they flare out kind of like the claws. like that. We're on this other side now.
and you wrap it outside of that the uh, that flash you just put on that Palmer chenille it'll keep them flared out right there so just you know just like a crab's claws clean everything up again Then you're going to take your uh, some tarantula EP brush in black, a one inch. Tie that in the back, right, right in front of those uh, those legs, you, those claws you just tied in. Just go ahead and wrap that up towards those lead eyes, up towards the front of the hook. Make sure pulling all those fibers back as you as you wrap. Keep that all nice and tight. As you're going, you can, oops, you can brush these out. Make sure they're not all getting stuck underneath each other. All the way up to those eyes. Secure them right behind those eyes. So then you got it's kind of mess all around that hook. Now we're gonna have to clean that up. First you can finish off that fly, whip finish. So from here, you're just trying to build that profile of that crab body a little bit better. I like to pull all those all those fibers kind of out to the side. I'm gonna just cut down the top a little bit. Make sure there's not as many fibers coming off the top side and the bottom side and just sticking out the sides to kind of make that crab profile. And you just shape it back a little bit. Nice thing about that tarantula brush is you can kind of leave out those silly legs because it has all the legs in there for you already. There you go. A little black and purple wintertime crab.